So here we are, back gate at Disney. This right? never gets old to this me. This never, <laughs> never I know, gets old. I know. I get so excited. I still remember, Eric, do you remember our first trip when, I when, do. when Forrest and Allie were little? Yep. Our very first trip to Disney, um, they were, gosh, how old were they? Three and four? Hi everybody, it's Amy and Eric actually with hello, Heart hello, hello. Um, with Heart and Home Orlando. So today we are going to do our very first Sunday drive. Um, when I was a kid, we used to take uh, drives on Sundays just to kind of go see the beauty of the world. We would just drive, we'd go see the leaves changing, um, go see the mountains. And one of the things that we always do for our clients who don't live here, most of our clients don't live in the area, uh, is we'll do some special driving videos for them. So we'll kind of say, hey, look, from point A to point B, this is this is what your drive will look like. This is how it works. So today we're going to do point A being Encore at Ovation, which is exactly where we are right here at the moment, um, with MI Homes. It's a new community here in Winter Garden. And point B is going to be, of course, Disney World. Had to start with Disney World. Had, Had to. to start with Disney World. So this is where we are. We are actually driving through the community of Encore at Ovation by MI Homes. Shout out to Brent. We're passing your yeah. the, the, the uh, yeah. spot in your new home that has plumbing now. Yeah, we're, nice. we're, we're getting further along. So we have a few clients that are already under construction here in this community. So we drive through here quite often, sending them updo updates, video updates or picture updates or drone updates. Um, so that's kind of what we're doing here. You can kind of see what it looks like in real life, in real time, uh, communities like this that are under construction. But the most important thing is that uh, Eric and I had talked about, you know, these little driving videos that we do for our clients, you know, perhaps they'll be beneficial as well to kind of add as a little supplemental thing on the Heart and Home Orlando YouTube channel. So hopefully these will help. Um, Eric so is really good with north, south, east, west. Any of those questions must be directed. I'm better than you. That's not, I'm better than you. That's not saying a whole lot, but, um, <laughs> hey, so Amy, start with, tell me about, tell me about Encore Innovation. Where, where are we? Who's the builder? Right. And all of that. So Encore Innovation is MI Homes. Um, MI Homes has quite a few communities out here. Um, we have many, many, many videos of many of their communities and their model homes. But where this particular community is located is very, very unique. First of all, I'm so excited. So look what's happening in front of us. That's a new phase. So it's a yeah. new phase. So this is what happens when we talk about new phases or lot releases. Um, that's what this is. This is a new phase that is being cleared and they're working on the infrastructure to get that ready so that once this phase is completed, they'll be able to continue and provide more beautiful homes over there in that area. Okay. And they've clearly dug a big yeah, pond have. there. Yes, so. they have. That's so, deep. Wow. Yeah, which is beautiful. Okay. Nice. So one of the things um, when you talked about where the location is, so we are in Winter Garden still. We are in the 34787 zip code. You are still zoned for the wonderful um, Orange County Winter Garden schools. But what's really unique about this is its proximity to Disney World, given the fact that we have a new uh, connection um, to um, to the to Disney from Western Way. That's what's so exciting, and that's the drive that we're going to take today for you. Um, what's really cool too, though, is um, and Eric, I think you said you have some video already of the Claremont area. I do. We'll put that up right now. Yeah. So coming out of the back of this community, as, as we get to the front, you'll see it. Uh, better. I'll put a little aerial uh, shot now of the of just the community in general. But as we get out of the community, you'll see as we get to the the street is it, and that's actually not Western Way at the moment. It's not called Western Way. I forget the name of the street. We'll see it when we get up here. But it goes off to the west um, up here. This road that we're going to come to goes off to the west to just farmland. That's what it goes to. But I'll put up on the screen now. Uh, uh, some aerial footage you can see that this road is actually going to connect to this little traffic circle that you'll see there that is in a community called Saranoa which is a beautiful community that's in Lake County so what you're looking at right now is the Lake County line mm -hmm. um, and so eventually I believe our traffic engineer son-in-law says 2025 um, that this is scheduled to go through and so this road that you're we're now turning onto, if you go that way that's to lead you to that traffic circle you just saw. If you go this way, straight, I guess, what do you say? Straight on till morning. We're going to Disney World. <laughs> now, it. on this road that we're on. So there's, yeah, there's the entrance again. I just want to kind of show you one more time the entrance to Encore Innovation. Now, this road that we're on, you can see that it, it, it's, I mean, obviously it's paved, 
But there is still so much more coming, just like Eric was saying, where it connects to Saranoa. Saranoa and Sawgrass Bay, that road will connect directly to... I just want to show cows. Yes, cows. Make, cows make um, me happy. Okay, sorry. Um, and by the way, this is interesting. So look to the right, you see dead. <laughs> and then to the left, you see beautiful and thriving. Um, so yeah, so... so you know, we've told for years, I've had clients that bought, you know, a couple of years ago in Saranoa with the full expectation and understanding that the excitement in the future, even if it was years down the road, was that Sawgrass Bay Boulevard was going to connect to Western Way. And that is exactly where we are now. 2021, everything is starting to really get those pieces of the puzzle put together. So that's one of the reasons that Encore Ovation is selling like And look cakes. at the, this sign right here will tell you everything you need to know yeah, right here. Right? The resort's just four, four miles straight miles ahead. Four miles straight ahead. So and you come out of this community at the stoplight and we're at Avalon Road. And we got a green light. Oh, we, we had we a green did. light. That's okay. Go oh, okay. Sorry. We go slow. But you could probably see at the top of the hill in the distance now, it, it it's going to be small on the video, but I could, at the top of that hill, I could see the Epcot Ball, I could see the Swan and Dolphin Hotels. You can see them all in the distance, obviously four miles away. So if you look here, you see Avalon Road and Western Way, okay? This is Fleming's Road is actually what, what it's called right now, it's Fleming's Road. So, but Fleming's Road becomes Western Way and the Everybody that worked, this this was sort of their secret way to get to work. So everyone we talked to that worked at Disney forever, they would say, oh yeah, I went I went the back sneak into Disney, and they call it sometimes the back door to Disney, um, which is Western Way. So people would come down Avalon Road, which you see right here in front of us, and they would come down into Western Way, and that's how they get to work faster. So yeah. the, the secret's out. Um, I'd also <laughs> like to point out that this is a temporary... Um, stoplight i'm sure it's going to be a little bit fancier <laughs> once sure, they're yeah. finished um over to the right we're not going to go that direction but i just want to point out if you were to continue to go to the right down the road a little bit you're going to hit earlo bronson <clears throat> and there's a big wawa there on the corner that's route 192 so, yeah and so you're you're also really close to some of that aspect if you like um you know further down earlo bronson where you've got a lot of the um or 192 uh, where you have a lot of the more touristy type things, but that's honestly is on the other side of Disney. Like it's it's just enough further down that it's not part of this residential area that is so desirable to so many people by living here in Winter Garden. So this drive, Eric, this four miles is pretty awesome. It's, and it looks if you look here, it, this feels like you're inside Disney World now. Yeah, yeah. And you can see actually in the distance. You can see some of the shopping that's coming up. And I thought for a half a second it was the Grand Floridian Hotel because they've, <laughs> they've designed the architecture that way. But if, you, if you've if you been to Disney World, um, you know that this is what the roads feel like. So this has clearly been designed and set up by Disney. Uh, all we're missing is those purple signs on the side of the road telling you which way you know is the, is the Grand Floridian Hotel. But right. where we're coming right now, Amy, tell them about the, um, the shopping that's coming. So this has been another huge huge, um, just an, an advantage and a big drawing point for a lot of people that have purchased in communities like Waterly, um, Watermark, any of those communities that we've featured on our YouTube channel many, 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 many times. Um, it's This area is the new mega shopping area. If you look over to the right, you're going to have like um, all sorts of apartments, you're going to have new hotels. You're gonna have new restaurants. You have a new massive Target is being built. So all of this is happening right here. Now, when you see um, we've got these stoplights, there's gonna be another stoplight up here that is going to be Flamingo Crossing. Um, and that is the road that if you were to travel down, it, it dumps you out like literally that end of that road is the entrance at Waterlee, which is another amazing community here in the Winter Garden area. Um, and that's kind of that's kind of where we are. But look at all of this. I mean, it's still coming. So this is why um, for those people that that don't know the area or they're a little hesitant, that's why I, I hope this video is so beneficial to you, so that you can literally see. So there's the Spring Hill Suites. Um, it's kind of through the trees. It's, it's through the trees over there. Yeah, we actually uh, several years ago, uh, my husband and I organized a reunion for some of our performer friends back from when we were young and. I dare say in shape. Um, <laughs> we um, we were speak for yourself. I was never in shape. Okay, well, um, <laughs> back when we were performing, 
um, we we had a great reunion here and we utilized their facility. But at the time, they were the only hotel here. Now you can see how much um, development is happening back there. It's crazy. Okay. But, but if you look in the distance, what do you see? How, think about how, how long ago it was, which is not long ago at all. Um, and look under this over uh, under this overpass. Yeah, you will see Minnie Mouse right in front of you. So we are now approaching Disney property. Yes, this is the back gate to Disney, and you know this is what I've told all of my clients that um, you know that that are looking in the Winter Garden area. We talk about the Horizon West area so much. By the way, Horizon West is an area in Winter Garden. It's not its own city, although it's it's a really cool spot. But it is a part of Winter Garden. It's just kind of the designation of that specific area. But this is the back entrance at Disney. So you can get to Disney by never having to go on a main road when you live in that Winter Garden area. This is amazing. So here we are, back gate at Disney. This right? never gets old to this me. Never. This never, I know, gets old. I know. I get so excited. I still remember, Eric, do you remember our first trip when, I when, do. when Forrest and Allie were little? Yep. Our very first trip to Disney, um, they were, gosh, how old were they? Three and four? Maybe? Three and four, maybe four and five. But, um, but we happened to hit it at love bug season. And remember, and now we, and we <laughs> we'll love tell you about that <laughs> during Love Bug season. You'll see them hitting the windshield during our Sunday drive. Yeah, but I mean, we went into a swarm of them. It was it was really funny. But. Just we we have to explain it because a love bug basically it's it's bugs that are attached mm -hmm. at their naughty bits. <laughs> guess it. But they fly around like that, so they're called love bugs. But it's. We call uh, it love bug season. Yeah, so the, the, sometimes there are clouds of love love bugs. And, and piles of them. And yeah, you just have to kind of get used to it. And yeah. you do get used to it right away. They're harmless. It's just it's kind of an interesting thing. An interesting tidbit, though, just talking about yeah. love bugs. Um, and, and this is because we do so much with new construction. Um, they're actually very much attracted to paint. Like is that true? Wet paint, yeah. I didn't know um, Yep. Yeah. The builders were telling me it's kind of a, I don't know if it's the smell of it or, or what it is. By the way, the Disney landscaping over there, um, a lot of this area they use to, for all, in the distance you can see, you probably can't see it from the camera, but a lot of the like shrubs and palm trees and things that they move in and out because obviously Disney is just so beautifully landscaped. And then, in the, in the cool. I mean, we live right here. We live right here. I, oh my gosh! I mean, this I just is, saw. I we, you just you just saw Expedition Everest yep. behind the thing. If you, you might have seen it just in a quick glance. Again, there's some of the shrubs and things that are growing to send out in the thing. So to orient you where we are, so we're going to come up here to the Disney Springs uh, Resort area is to our left. Blizzard Beach is up to our right. Um, Animal Kingdom is kind of off to the right. Again, we're heading in the the back way into Disney. So we are heading now from west to east into Disney World. So we're going to come up on the left is going to be Coronado Springs, which is now a, a it used to be a corporate meeting center, but now that's kind of the they've added some some other hotel things, but it's still a lot of corporate business comes to Coronado Springs. So if you've been here for a convention, you've probably been there. So I'd actually like to point out like how many cars do you see right now? Yeah, sure. Okay. So this is the back entrance to Disney. So my friends, if you are looking to move here and you want to be close to Disney, what better way than to be close to Disney to be able to enter in through through the back, you know, entrance? And we've been recording this for about 10 minutes. Yeah. And but, and it's been maybe 7 or 8 minutes since we left Encore. <laughs> yeah, and it's 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 this is how close it is. Um by the way, you might ask yourself, okay, well, if you're that close, can you see or hear the fireworks? And the answer is yes. Once they start the fireworks back up again, you know, hopefully as the pandemic uh, kind of lightens up a little bit or, or, or policies change, um, then you'll be able to see them. Like from where we live, I won't tell you where we live, but from where we live, we can actually still see the Disney fireworks from our master bedroom window. And we do not live right here, but it is pretty amazing. So if you do live here, you can only imagine um, you know, how many homes have beautiful views of the fireworks, um, which is, again, it's, it's so cool. You know, I said it once in one of my earlier videos that living in Florida, especially in this area, it feels like you're living on vacation. It really does. Especially and, right now. You're Disney yeah, World. yeah. I mean, exactly. It's like, so one of the things that was always so nice when we first moved here, you know, we got our Disney annual passes. If I had friends or family or former students that would come to Disney, you know, they would tell me they were coming and then it's like, you know, go meet them for a funnel cake over at, you know, yeah. at one of the parks. Um, because it doesn't have to be a day trip for you when you live here. You can just go and say, you know what, let's go ride a ride. Let's go see a show. Let's go um, get a funnel cake. Yep. The annual you know? passes are, are, are fairly expensive, but when you consider, if you're the kind of person 
that can come down to Disney. And boy, you come sometimes and you can get, hook yourself up with three fast passes and just come over, do your fast pass rides. And there's so much more to Disney. I, our teenage son just goes, can we go hang out at Disney Springs? And we we're like, yeah, sure. And it's so surreal to think, okay, he's just going to go hang out at, at, um, at, Disney for a while. By the way, here's your signs, all right? So, so we're this signs. is the heart of it. So yeah. So we're the Tower of Terror right there. there. Swan and Dolphin. Oh, it went right behind the trees as I said it. But <laughs> that's okay. okay. Swan and Dolphin are here. So we're turning on to World Drive. So World Drive is so again. How long ago were we at your front door? Right. At your, Encore Innovation. Right. And now you are here at Disney World. And this is, by the way, brand new. Obviously, yeah, in the building. Gorgeous. I don't even know what that is. But you see over there the yep. Swan and the Dolphin. I guess that's the Dolphin. Mm -hmm. Um. And there's the swan in the distance. Um, so this road will lead you straight to the Magic Kingdom. So when lots of people think about Disney World, they think Magic Kingdom is what they is what they right. they think of. Absolutely. And you can see up here Epcot. If we wanted to go to Epcot, we would go off to the right. We're going to keep going straight so that we can head toward um, Magic Kingdom. But we are going to turn around at yeah, some point we're because not, we're not really going there. Today. We really don't we want to pay twenty five dollars for parking. No. So. We just wanted to show you how close that you would be. Um, on this, the little Sunday drive. And by the way, you can do this on your own any time you want to if you live in this area. All right, so folks, let's let's wrap it up for now. But um, So we're going to bring this to you now every Sunday. Um, we're just going to take a drive somewhere. So hopefully you've, you've found this. This has been about eh, 15 minutes of a drive. Um, we went around the neighborhood. We came out. So again, if you're... Amy is a, helps a lot of people from across the country and across the world move to this part of Florida. So we do these drives all the time for our clients. So uh, hopefully you'll enjoy that as you see the monorail, um, the monorail uh, line over there and the Disney's Magical Express bus coming down. I thought we might get a glimpse of a monorail, but I guess not. But uh, so join us every Sunday. We're going to go through this. Uh, let us know in the comments if, you, if you'd like more videos like this. Um, it's a little bit of a podcast, a little bit of a of a just time together to, to see how things go. We're going to turn around here. No, we're not because there's a little thing there. We were going to make a turn and now we're not. Uh, there's a gas station up here we can turn around. Oh, yeah, true. Uh, so anyway, so uh, thanks for joining us. And uh, Amy, anything else you want to tell them about um, getting a hold of you uh, uh, just, and you know, what you do? Same thing, just like on the videos, everybody. Just It's 407-848-8042. It's always free to have me help you um, as your buyer agent. So um, honestly, just, you know, hopefully this Sunday drive is a great supplement to some of the other things um, that we have on the YouTube channel. Hopefully it will help you start to connect things, connect the dots on the map, especially for those of you that live out of state or out of the country. Um, we are here to do anything you need to, to, to help. So hopefully this one helps. And there is Magic Kingdom. Right there. We're hi, there. Mickey, hi, Cinderella. Hi, Everybody. I went Cinderella. I don't know why I went Cinderella, but hi, uh, I thought in the castle, I guess. Is what I was Hey, okay, have a great guys. day, guys. Say the catchphrase. Happy house hunting. Thank you. <laughs>